on YouTube, this is Dawn with Double D Homestead, and today I had someone request a recipe for me. So she wanted corn nuggets. So you know who you are, this is for you. <laughs> Super easy. First of all, back here I've got a pot with about two and a half inches of oil in it because you want your oil right about 350, 360, somewhere in there, nice and hot. And then all you need is a cup of corn, regular kernel corn drained. And this is my home can and a cup of um, cream corn. And you can use Jiffy Mix if you want. So I'm not adding any sugar to this. If I didn't have this, I could use a cup of cornmeal with a half a cup of flour and another teaspoon of uh, baking powder and about a quarter cup of sugar. So other than that, you can use this too. So, and because you want this a little sweet. I've got a half a cup of flour, half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of butter melted, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one egg that I'm going to mix up and get in the milk. And we'll start there. <laughs> so I'm just going to do this right in here. Mix this egg up a little bit. Mix my butter in it, just like that, and get that out of the way. And now I'm gonna mix my dry ingredients. And I also made some honey butter, and uh, I used the rest of the stick of butter and a quarter cup of honey, and just ripped it till it was nice and creamy with my mixer. Super easy, super yummy. <laughs> I like it. So these are called corn nuggets, and what they are is real small, smaller um, corn fritters. And we're having soup beans tonight, so we're going to have this with our pinto beans. So I'm just busting up some of these clumps, because Jiffy's always clumpy. I don't know why, but it always is. <laughs> I'm going to bust that up a little bit, and then... I'm gonna go ahead and add my flour and my salt and baking powder. And put this in here and mix it together, just like this. And give it a nice mix, just like so. And then I'm gonna mix in my wet ingredients, pour that right in the center and just start mixing and get it mixed up real good, real quick. That's what it looks like. You're just gonna kinda drop these like you would a dumpling. <laughs> now I'll put my corn in there. I drain the water off of this, so make sure you drain your water. Put my corn in here. And I didn't add any extra sugar to this because my corn is very sweet. It's very good. It's um, early sun glow corn. And it canned up beautifully. And it's very sweet. I really like it. And then I'm just going to mix this together into a nice sticky batter. And this is a little loose. So I'm gonna get another half a cup of flour and put in this, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here's our batter. I did put another half cup flour in it, so it all come together nice, and that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna get you moved over to the stove now, cause we're gonna I'm fry these. the stove now, and I got my batter. And I have a small cookie scoop, and you can use a teaspoon, you don't have to use this. <coughs> and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dunk this in oil first, so my dough don't stick. Let's see if I, there we go. This way, and just put a little bit of dough in there like that and drop it in. And you just keep on and doing it. And dropping the, putting the scoop in oil really does help a lot. Cause these aren't great big fritters. These are just little bite sized ones. And then cook them till they're brown, which don't take long. Don't take long at all. <laughs> it's 
So you just want to keep them turned so that they brown on all sides. And they're going to want to roll around on you. Like that one there is arguing with me. Do you want to argue tonight? And they just cook in two or three minutes. They don't take long. As you can see, they're getting golden brown already. And the oil's going to cool off if you put too many in at once. So do them in small batches. And this is going to make a bunch. <laughs> I know it is. That's all right, though. They'll be good. I think for leftover ones, I'll heat them up in the toaster oven because you're supposed to serve these warm, so... And I think these are getting close to being done, my friends. Oh, and I'd like to say thank you to all my new subscribers. And if you're new here and you like it here, hit subscribe and the bell notification and stick around. And if you like this video, where's it? Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> all right. Then I'm just going to take them and put them over here on this wire rack. And that's how you make corn nuggets. Folks, here they are. This isn't all of them. There's some back here. You can probably see that. And here's my honey butter. <laughs> this is going to be good. Take a little butter, smish it on top. And these are nice and warm. Oh, yeah. Mm. There you go. I'll let you look inside. Oh, yeah, it's good stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and God bless you all, and take care of yourselves, and have a great day.